wow, look at all these beautiful faces. For those of you who are not aware, and I don't know how you would be, we're going to add another beautiful face this spring, hopefully, to these stairs. Emmeline's going to be a big sister. And like Mr. Reeve, I have an extra announcement to make. In the bulletin, you will see that we are having the baby shower April 2nd, but it says time and location to be picked. Well, we have the time and location for you, and we'll put those in the future bulletins and make more announcements, but it will be at our own Bellman Hall, and it will be at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So for those like myself who plan our calendars a month or more ahead of time, April 2nd, 2 o'clock, Bellman Hall. Look forward to seeing you there. And for you guys, have you guys ever been in a big hurry on the Sabbath? You have? I have too. Oh, well, that's what our story is. Mommy and Daddy were rushing out the door. Somehow, the alarm had went off late, and they were rushing to get the clothes on. Kids ready? Wayne! Wayne! Elisa, are you guys ready yet? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Oh, I've got to teach Sabbath school, and the kids are going to be there before me. I just know it. Hurry! Wayne! Wayne! Elisa, where are you? Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! And it was potluck. Mom's trying to rush to get all of her potluck dishes into the car. Oh, oh, you guys, hurry, hurry, hurry. Everybody piled into the car. And right as dad's starting to take off, mom, stop, stop. Oh, I just remembered I forgot my Bible inside. So they stop the car. Mom rushes out. She goes and grabs her Bible. And wouldn't you know it, right as she's getting to the car, her heel breaks. Her heel breaks. Just a minute, I'll be right back. Mom goes back, kind of limping inside with her heel, puts on another pair of shoes, runs just back to the car. Okay, before we take off this time, everybody's got everything. Mom starts going through the list. We got the potluck dishes. Yeah, yeah, check. Okay, uh, uh, everybody's got their Pathfinder outfits on. We got Pathfinders today. Yeah, got all that. Okay, um, honey, you got your wallet, your keys, and your glasses? Yeah, had to do that for dad every time, or he'd forget something too. Mom's going through, got Bibles, got purse. Okay, okay, I think we can leave now. They start heading off in the car. Mom's a little bit irritable because, man, she just knows they're going to be late. They're going to be late. <sighs> and suddenly, wouldn't you know it, they hit every red light. Has that ever happened to you guys? You're already late and every red light. Oh, mom's starting to look irritable now in the car. Daddy looks over at her and he says, honey, we'll get there in time. It's okay. Remember, Sabbath is a, does anybody know? There we go. Sabbath is a happy day, huh? They hear that a lot in our home. <laughs> Sabbath is a happy day. Mommy needed to be reminded. So she put on her smile and she decided, okay, go ahead. It's a happy day, huh? Look at that beautiful smile. He's showing us Sabbath is a happy day. I love it. And so she said, you're right. Sabbath is a happy day. And she stopped and she prayed, Lord, give us your guidance and your protection. Watch over us and calm my heart. I know we'll get there when we need to get there. Things started to feel a little easier in the car, and they were getting closer to church. You like getting closer to church too? I know. And suddenly, sometimes that happens, huh? And sometimes things get in our way from getting there. And that's just what kept happening to this family. They looked up ahead. And there was ambulance coming. Have you guys heard of ambulances? Woo, woo, woo. You have too? Yeah. Oh, thank you. All my ambulances now. So when we hear that, what do we do? Oh, and so when we hear that, the cars need to pull over. Oh, no. That anxious feeling started getting back in mommy's stomach and her heart started pounding. We're already so late. But she kept thinking, that's okay. God knows, and he's with us. So they pulled over the car, and the ambulance goes, and then you see some cop cars go by, and they get to get back on the road. And as they approach the accident, oh, you'll get to talk soon. When they approach the accident, 
Mommy started realizing something. She looked at her watch. She noticed again. They should have been right there. That's their turn. They would have been there at that time of the accident. And suddenly she started realizing God knew where she needed to be. God knew what time they needed to be at church that day. Had they been right on time, had they been where mommy thought they were to be, they would have been part of that big three car accident they just passed. But God knew. God knew they did not need to be in that accident that day. God knew where they needed to be. And even though they were late for church that day, they had a special testimony to give. They were able to pray in front of Sabbath school class for all those people who were in the accident. And most importantly, they were reminded that God knows where we need to be at every moment of every day of every time, no matter what. And so today, I have a reminder that God knows where you need to be at every moment of every day of every time as well. I've got a little compass that anytime you're feeling lost or anytime you're feeling like, this isn't where I should be. I need to be somewhere else right now. I should be at school. I'm late. I should be at my friend's play date. I'm late. That's okay. Calm down. Pray to God that he gives you his peace and know that he knows where you are and you're right where you need to be. Now come get your treat before going back to your parents.